Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I have a question for you. Is the ammo shortage over or possibly a little less painful? And the reason I say that is because I have gotten so much feedback from viewers here that have told me they went into the local gun store, they went into some big box store, and they were surprised at how much ammo was available. Before it was increased price and availability. Now it seems to be just increased price. And I think there are some reasons for that, but I have to say, possibly the price could be inching its way down a bit. And the main reason is that people are shooting less. I went into an indoor range yesterday, a place that would normally have quite a few lanes filled. It was empty. There was nobody there. And eventually somebody came in, but you know, there used to be a lineup at the front desk waiting to get to an open lane and now it is empty it tells me people are shooting less i know that there have been people on here that say you know what i'm waiting it out i'm not paying these prices it's a complete ripoff i know better i have an adequate supply which also brings me to another point i think stockpilers settle down a bit i think that because they have an adequate supply that they don't feel the need to go out and continually pay or overpay for ammo that they already have i also think that the scammers and the scalpers, those guys that wait in line just to score any type of ammo they can get their hands on and throw it up on gun broker and try to rip people off, I think their days are over. These guys who thought they were heroes amongst the 2A community, providing a service that were really providing nothing more than money for themselves, created a huge problem. They would go in and buy, buy boxes and boxes of anything they could even if they had no intention of shooting it just to make money, I think their days are over. Goodbye. You will not be missed. Good luck. I hope you go wait in line and you sit on this ammo because not many people are buying it. I also think that the new gun owners may have wisened up to the increased cost of ammo. Now, many people who are new, they typically get a box or two of ammo, but when you have so many, People buying guns and buying a box or two, or maybe even a case or two, that certainly hurts the market. And I think that was a factor in this shortage. I also believe that Remington, well, I know for a fact, Remington's now producing ammo. Now, Remington is a huge producer. They have been for years. They were shut down as they transitioned. And now they're up and open, open and producing ammo. That is adding so much to the market. Coupled with Federal, CCI, Blazer, that whole group is pumping it out 24-7. Now, they had to rehire a bunch of people or, and then train new people to produce ammo. Those people are now settled in. They are producing ammo 24-7, adding so much more to the market. Also, we have new producers and new imports that we have coming in that is adding more ammo to the market. And so here we have an increase in availability. I do believe that we will see some decreased in, decrease costs. I hope so, because it's been crazy. But I do think the market has stabilized. This is the first time I've ever felt this way. Through the feedback and through what I've seen and speaking with people in my own life that say, hey, I'm, I'm able to get this stuff now. It really is amazing, and we didn't know when the end was in sight. I'm not saying the end is in sight, but I think we're starting to inch our way there just a little bit. What I have seen that is so frustrating are all these fake ammo companies. I've seen them on Facebook. I've seen them on Instagram. I, I see their fake websites with their, their phone numbers where somebody's uh, purchased some cheap little phone, with, got a phone number with it, and using that as a form to rip people off. I know for a fact there are a lot of suckers out there that are paying for ammo that is never going to make its way to them. And I'm going to give you a little hint on how to avoid these people. If they are charging and the deal is so good, you say, I, I have to get this, I can't pass it up. And their forms of payment is PayPal, Venmo, Bitcoin. I'm telling you right now, it's a scam and they're everywhere. And they will they will come to you. Like they will message you on on facebook on instagram they will send an email and say hey look you look like somebody who enjoys shooting i have all this ammo and then we think man man maybe i have my source here and it's completely fake they're they're all over the place 
and they're really hurting the situation and, and I think people are really getting suckered into it. So I think it's stabilized. I think that we could see the light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of it will depend on what the government does. Right now, it seems like they're going after the ghost guns and a bunch of stuff is coming down the pipeline. We'll see where that ends up. But in terms of the supply that we have and the potential of getting ammo out there, I think that it's getting better. I think that it has stabilized. I think a lot of people are just waiting it out. They're saying, forget this. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. And they're shooting less. And then you couple that with the increase in production and we're seeing a little better situation and a more welcoming situation to the ammo market because for the last year it has been a disaster. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.